Hey guys, Ross here on MGF Customs, back continuing the series where I compare my custom LEGO minifigures to LEGOs. This time we're covering my new Mandalorian Season 2 minifigures that I just showcased here on the channel recently. And I gotta say, the last time I did this for my Clone Wars Customs for the last season was not quite as jarring as this. This time it's a little bit more shocking. But I wanted to thank The Ridge for sponsoring today's video and sending over their super slim minimalist front pocket wallet. It holds up to 12 cards plus your cash. It's RFI blocking and the Ridge.com exclusive forged carbon version here is made from carbon fiber. They also have titanium and aluminum options too and there are over two dozen colors and styles to pick from. I'm always wearing my camera bag though everywhere I go so my wallet usually goes in here but when it doesn't I've always hated looking like I'm carrying around the Tesseract in my front pocket or my custom Lego minifigures. I don't actually do that. It's also designed to last, so you won't have to buy another wallet for a very long time, possibly ever again, and that is backed by their lifetime warranty, and returns are free too. So if you're finally ready to streamline your wallet situation, then be sure to head on over to ridge.com slash MGF, use code MGF, and get 10% off with free worldwide shipping. So I just recently finished my baby Yoda, as many of you guys know, and I'm really proud of it. He turned out exactly as I had hoped. He features a custom 3D printed head by Tuminio, and I gave him posable arms by installing four micro magnets into the micro figure. Then it's all fully painted by me. Lego, on the other hand, made a frog. Like I was much more forgiving of this before I finished mine. Now I just think it looks kind of bad. Of course, they used one of their standard baby body pieces too, so the arms are stuck in place, which isn't a big deal, but for me, it's really that head that bothers me. It's way too big, and I don't like how they printed the eyes at all. It's honestly really creepy looking. I understand the head itself maybe fits LEGO style, and you could argue the eye printing does too, but God, dude, it, it, he looks like a hot air balloon. The regular baby heads are also more to scale. I don't know why they made baby Yodas so massive. Also, I had the opportunity to make his pram thanks to another brilliant 3D printed piece by Tumenia. Link to his Micro Me store will be down in the description below. And painting that up was actually pretty cool for me. Lego, on the other hand, still has yet to put the pram in a set. So I guess you're still walking, dude. Next, the Mando himself. I know this is the season one version, but considering Lego isn't going to have a Beskar Mando minifig in an official set until next year. We're working with what we've got for now. So I've always thought the design work and printing on LEGO's first Mando is great, of course, but what I can focus on here is definitely the helmet, which I think belongs in that new Sesame Street set on Oscar the Grouch because uh, it looks like a garbage can. I'm sorry, even last year I thought the gunmetal was the wrong choice because the visor print just mostly blends in with it. A color scheme closer to what Area Like Customs did, for instance, would have been much better, I think, and hopefully they're changing it for the next version. Also, LEGO obviously took the brick-built approach to the pulse rifle, not contesting that choice, as of course we gotta remember that this is still LEGO, um, but I had a great time finally painting up the overmolded brick arms version from Eclipse Graphics I had been hanging on to all year long but there's really not too much more to talk about here when comparing it to mine besides maybe the head underneath which I do think Lego should change to a dark brown to be more consistent with the undersuit the black doesn't quite fit I also did paint Pedro Pascal's likeness and I made a bunch of extra accessories but there's no real reason to feature those in this video hopefully Lego will fix the color scheme next time and maybe give him the jetpack too but anyway that's gonna do it for this comparison video it's always been fun for me to do these don't forget to check out the original Mando season two showcase that went up right after the premiere put a lot of work into that video and as always you can catch all the new progress i'll be making on new avengers endgame and mando season two customs over on my patreon which is always linked down below if you'd like to consider supporting the channel that way otherwise you can always find me over on instagram twitter and facebook for all my photoshop edits of my customs all of it happening well before it reaches the main channel here but what did you guys think of uh, chapter 10 mando season two episode two it was uh it was not great in my opinion. It just uh, didn't do a whole lot for me, but was still a fun time regardless. So thanks again to The Ridge for sponsoring this video though. And uh, yeah, take care guys and keep creating. This is the way. Huge thanks to Ridge for sponsoring this video. And I'm, now I'm gonna, this is gonna be my new tick.